How are you all? Nice to see you again. This is Coins Alert, your place to get your crypto fix. I'm your boss. I hope everyone is having a great day. Today is September 24th. The end of September is almost here, which is good news for the crypto markets. Let's try to end September on a positive note and keep it up in October, everyone. Cryptocurrencies tend to do very well in October. More so for XRP since the Swell event is coming up in less than two weeks. We have a lot to talk about in this episode. China lifting its ban on Bitcoin, Trump's views on crypto, and how it could help the US pay off its debt are all things we'll talk about. Today we are going to look at the top of the Bitcoin cycle. One expert is calling to say that the parabolic curve will blow off its peak in Q4, which is coming up in less than eight days. Then we'll talk about what if the past does happen again. What do you think will happen? Let's get right into a Bitcoin without further ado. $63,550. In the last 24 hours, it's been at 1.6% right now. Ethereum is coming out in the year 2651. It's gone up 2.53%. The US, DTTN, and USDC both came in at their dollar pegs. The XRP is worth 58 cents and wants to be worth 59 cents. It wants to attack. Again, that 60 cent area is the main area of pushback that we have been fighting for a few months now. It will break and then it will go to 66 cents. Let's go everyone. The overall value of the cryptocurrency market is $2,240 billion. If you don't have luxury lines, you can. Join my project, which is the biggest project on the XRP ledger and has paid back more than a million, yes, 1 million XRP to all of our valued users. One new tier for this month is the Fortnite Pride tier. Warfare with a tier for last month, there are still a few left, but if you want to get a big boy, we have the adults and females. We'll give you three points on that rich list, which gives you three times as much XRP back every month. You can pay with a credit card or XRP. They put out this about Donald Trump in crypto news and coing it. He just said something brave about crypto. I don't I want to play it again because I don't know if I'll get a small fine for playing anything with Trump in it. I'll tell you what he said. He said, I believe crypto will do very well in the future. We might use it to pay off our $35 trillion debt. This is big. Think about what would happen if crypto was used to pay off the U.S. debt. Holy crap. What a huge message. From Trump, the elections will happen in November, which is about two months from now. That will really set the stage for the future of crypto in the U.S. The bull run will go on no matter who wins the poll. This is what we need to ask ourselves. And what we will figure out in a few months, how high are these markets going to go? If Trump wins, I think we'll see that seven to 10 trillion. And if he doesn't, the value of crypto might drop to three, five trillion dollars. But he stopped the bull run. What do we need? There are candidates for office in the US who are all about crypto taking the lead and setting up the right rules and policies so that big institutional money can flow. We might even see some people move from the stock market to the crypto business. We need that. That's the way to make this work. 10, 15 or 20 trillion. That's how high you want crypto to go. It's pretty easy. When Trump steps in, he makes rules and policies that put the US ahead of the rest of the world in the crypto race. There will be a huge move away from banks in the stock market and toward coins. Also, big news China is about to stop banning Bitcoin. This is big. In the US alone, we have $58 trillion. This is the amount of money that is in circulation around the world. 50 trillion was put in, right, from the businesses that are in the markets every day. The number two spot goes to China with just over 6 trillion yuan. That's why it's so important for the US to lead and bring big money into the space or cryptocurrency markets. But if China decides to let all the money in, it could add another couple of trillion to the total. Japan and India aren't too far behind either. But I believe that Japan and India are waiting for the US to make their plans public first. After that, they'll jump in and start putting money in China, beast made of stone. They'll do what they want when they want to. Since they're going to let Bitcoin in at some point, they'll also let all the other cryptocurrencies in and treat them the same way. Something to look at the moon. Carl Moonboy himself. He said Q4. Historically, the best time of the year to make money with Bitcoin. What is it? Going to be this time? It looks like he made Q4 plus 479% on Bitcoin for the quarter. Okay, so we usually get a small 40% increase in Q3, which is about to end. But Q4 is when we see the huge growth. In 2020, 168%. In 2017, 215%. Back then, those were the years of the bull runs. 479% when we first started working with crypto in 2013. There's something important here. October is a real month. What will October bring? In the past, we've seen XRP pump in October as well. The little pump that comes before the swell event is usually pretty nice. Have we seen the pump before? Was that, excuse me, maybe to try to get up to that 60 cent area? Perhaps. Doesn't it happen already? It. 
Might as well. We'll find out in two weeks, right? Tiny Crypto said that the top of the Bitcoin cycle is set to happen by the end of 2024. Bitcoin usually hits its highest point three to four quarters after breaking the market structure to the upside. It's possible that the cycle will reach its peak by the end of 2024, which is three months from now or in the first quarter of 2025. We told you these goals are all just around the corner. Crypto will change your life in the next six to 12 months. Right now is not the time to get upset. Do not start chasing green right now. Every boat will rise. Because of who is building on top of the networks and how useful they are, some boats will rise a lot harder and faster. But once Bitcoin decides it wants to go all the way up, everything will go up. Our Bitcoin goals haven't changed at all. I'm still thinking it will be around $100,000 by the end of the year. I think the price will go up by 150 to 175 Bitcoin. There is a chance that Bitcoin will reach a value of RS25 million. But those goals won't come until later in 2025. We need to pay attention to this. Bullish people don't need to be excited or happy. I don't know what else will make them happy. This is what we're ready for. Dollar cost averaging has helped us buy crypto because we know this is the time for the bull run or bull cycle. We knew years ahead of time that the half was going to happen. We have been stocking up because when we look at historical statistics and see what usually happens, I said what usually happens after the halving. The prices go through the roof. We have facts from the last 10 years to back this up. Nothing in the world says there isn't a bull run. A lot of people are going public with their stories because Bitcoin had already broken its all-time high before the bull run. Not at all. The markets just got too good because ETFs brought in big money from institutions and pushed them above all-time highs. We haven't seen that parabolic blaster blow up. That hasn't happened yet. You'll know exactly when to make this move in Bitcoin's go time because it will be absolutely explosive. The first thing we're going to do is aim for 74K. The price will go up to around $88,000 once that is passed. The next thing you know, we'll be talking about Bitcoin worth $100,000. What's my present task? It's easy. Right now I'm putting my money on the outside. Why is my money not being used? Well, I still think Bitcoin might be able to drop back and test that area between lower and mid $50,000. The market as a whole will go down if that does happen. There will be a drop, which I will use to my benefit. A cryptocurrency I've talked a lot about and plan to buy a lot of is Quant, or should I say Velo, since I buy Quant every week. Velo is one I'm not too interested in right now. The Velo chart shows that it's sitting at 1.5 cents. I will buy a couple of million bikes out of those price tags if this goes back down to a penny, which is a big if. You want to know why? After all, I think Velo could go up to 60 cents. Let's say my DCA is a penny and it goes up to 60 cents. You can figure this out with some simple math. It will be a 60x. I only try for five to 10 times most of the time. I'll take a 60x or even a 30x to be safe. You should also take it. Yesterday, you missed the movie. The second by second countdowns for Ripple are over. I think it will be a little less than two weeks. That's about two weeks when I ride. People, is the SEC going to mess us up again at the last minute? Are they going to file an appeal or is the case over? Don't forget that Stuart Alderita said it was over. Time goes by. That's all I have to say. All eyes are on the court case. I think the XRP will do a little pump if we don't get an appeal and we get above that area of resistance of 60 cents. If we do get an appeal, I think the price will go down a bit, but that doesn't bother us because our goal for XRP at the end of the year is still the same 75 cents. That's all we need. That's what I've been saying since the beginning of the year. The year 2025 has come and now is the time for XRP. Now I'll leave it at that. Look, wash your hands and be nice to each other. Let people know that Winkle is out.